Joining us now to review some of the headlines of today's newspapers from around the world is Arise News Analyst Emmanuel Efene. Good morning, Emmanuel. Good morning, Ruben. Good morning, Ayo. Good morning. Yes, let's start the review with this day, Nigeria's newspaper of record. The lead story, Catch Policy, can others express concern over plot to arrest a mafia? says selfish Nigerians want to create confusion in country. Bullion van politicians after CBN says Atiku Okowa campaign. Lawmakers re-invite a mefile for grilling on cash policy tomorrow. Falana, other senior lawyers react. Money launderers, political bandits against redesigning of Naira says now nah, there's a National Association of Nigerian Students Policy, policy will allow voters elect credible leaders, says ex quara Governor Ahmed. Yes, the Christian Association of Nigeria, uh, Kaduna, um, yesterday uh, joined other Nigerians who have cautioned and expressed concern uh, about the plot to arrest Governor of the Central Bank, Godwin Emifuli, recall that um, one U.S. Gambarawa on December 7 brought this ex parte motion uh, to arrest, to get the court nod to arrest uh, Godwin Emifuli over what it termed uh, funding of terrorism. And ever since, uh, Nigerians have been expressing their views. Human rights lawyer, senior advocate of Nigeria, Femi Falana, also making his views known. Although he said, well, Mifili was able to get that uh, kind of judgment. Perhaps if he were a lesser citizen, would the courts react the same way? But we commend the court for the action because, as the judge stated, no credible evidence to back the allegation to warrant the granting of that ex parte motion. But a Mifile is still in the eye of the storm. The National Assembly, the House of Rep, waiting for him to come and shed more light on the, his cashless policy, which has brought about uh, this uh, limitation of withdrawals. Many Nigerians are concerned, and of course, there are those hailing this as one measure that will help shape the 2023 general election as to its credibility because cash will be scarce to distribute. I wasn't surprised when I saw uh, somebody that describing those against this policy as bullion van politicians. Well, we know where Bulon Van read his head some time ago during the general election some years back. Now, we look at the, the, the Guardian newspaper. New Naira knows yet to circulate amidst fears of counterfeiting. Redesign withdrawal limit will wreck not. Wamako claims. Ibadan motorcycle. Cyclists reject new notes. Bank of England unveils King Charles bank notes. Won't phase out old notes, but reprinting will be discontinued. That's how England is dealing with its own currency change. Of course, the new king in England face will appear on the bank notes there in England. Now the Punch newspaper, cash limits, reps ordered CBN to stay action, Banks Adamant. Lawmakers insist a Mifile must appear Thursday or send a deputy. House defense ordered to suspend policy sites, CBN Act Constitution. Banks ready for implementation. No counter directive, spokesperson. Of course, some talking about... Um, whether there's counterfeiting, those rejecting the new uh, notes. But Central Bank has come out clearly to 
state that there are security features in the new bank note that will make it almost, if not very difficult, uh, to counterfeit. I hope the average Nigerian will, will be able to discern between what is counterfeit and what is not. But we just hope that uh, nobody has gone that route yet of trying to counterfeit this new note. Now, the Vanguard newspaper, federal government bans cash withdrawal from public account. Yes, charity should begin with the government uh, because if individuals are being restricted to the amount of cash they can withdraw, yes, why should government officials go to bank and withdraw cash from public account? So, it's a welcome development by the federal. I hope it will be enforced because sometimes when these rules are put, some people just believe that they are above such rules. We've had cases of where uh, government officials uh, disobeyed the president blatantly. Now, the Daily Sun newspaper, 2023, Tinubu Atiku Obi rave up campaigns, visit Cross River, Aqua Bomb, Casina, make mouth watering promises. Yes, the Politicians are on the march again to use popular phraseology and promises are flying out of the mouth of politicians on the soapbox. So we just hope um, somebody is taking note and nobody will come and deny what they have promised tomorrow when elected. Now, the Nation newspaper, Tinibu unveils funding plan for infrastructure revolution. It's possible to build in difficult times. North, Tank, North Christians Forum and Dozis Tinubu Shetima, Cross River APC, Crisis Resolved. Now, the Nigerian Tribune newspaper, yes, $2.4 billion revenue loss. Reps probe sale of crude oil from 2014 to unravel mystery behind alleged sale of 48 million barrels of crude oil to China in 2015. Give CBN governor two days to appear over cash. Well, this probe is something uh, we'll have to keep a tab on, on this sale of crude from 2014. The House of Reps there digging into this in the twilight of the Ninth National Assembly. But we'll see how that pans out. The foreign newspapers quickly. Now, the Guardian newspaper, NH Health Bosses, urge Prime Minister to intervene to avoid war of attrition on strike. The strike is on in the UK, and NHS leaders are even urging people to drink re responsibly and don't take any risks because the medics will not be there. The paramedics will not be there to bring the ambulance to pick anybody that is in danger. Ruben and Ayo. Well, in the UK, 750 uh, uh, soldiers are being deployed today uh, to, uh, you know, drive the ambulances and provide rescue uh, services. But how, how, how much impact can 750 persons, you know, uh, make? The big problem is that the government is adamant. The health secretary is blaming the unions for inflicting pain on patients. And uh, how do you tell people not to run? How do you people tell people during Christmas, don't have fun, don't drive your car, because if you break a leg, there will be no nurse to attend to you. Uh, it's a major crisis, you know, on both sides. I think whatever uh, the government is saying, what is more important in England and Wales is the security of lives, the safety of lives. Uh, but we don't have too much time. But I, you know, in another news, I understand that the Minister of Out Works and Housing has handed over keys to Mutiu Adepoju, Ikeshu yeah. Rumu, you know, Affinity George in Ibadan. Uh, yesterday that happened. And this is 28 years, 28 after, years after, after, after that Super Eagles, uh, you know, team of 1994 was promised, you know, a compensation of houses of their choice. But better late than never. Yes, I suppose they put inflation rates and, Ruben, uh, and interest rates Promise rate as delayed. It's not promise denied. Okay, well, <laughs> 28 years. <Yes. laughs> Thank you very much, Emmanuel. Thank you. Thank you.